What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're doing a little special cocktail. Very easy, simple kind of drink. Uh, and something that I, like is just created on the spot for uh, a guy who uh, visited my bar. Uh, so there's this guy named Scott who's a recent transplant to um, LA from Austin, Texas. And I was talking to him while he came in and he had like an old fashioned and then he goes, we were started talking and I said, well, why did you leave Austin, Texas? And he said, well, I'm, I, I was in the velvet rut. And I was like, what is the velvet rut? And he's like, well, the velvet rut is like when you're, when you live in a place and you just have the whole place on lockdown. Like he's in a band. So he was like, you know, all the coolest band members from all the coolest bands, you know, everyone can get a job whenever you need one. You know, everyone at the bar knows you. And just like you have, everything's just comfortable, right? But your life is going nowhere, right? So like he was saying that's like so comfortable, it's so easy to just spin your wheels for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, and that's what he determined, that's what he determined the velvet rut was. And I thought that that was not only a brilliant name for a cocktail, but just like an awesome concept. So we were, then we started talking about, like I said, that's an awesome name for a cocktail. And we started talking about like what would have, what would go into that cocktail. Uh, and we came up with this little thing. Um, What's funny is that as I created it and then I tasted, I said, this tastes really familiar and realized that the ingredients are very close to a drink I already created called a winter welcome. Uh, but it's a bit different and it's different enough that it warrants its own video in my opinion. Uh, this is something that you can just put together easily. I'm using specific brands, but other than the old granddad, which is pretty widely available or at least some other comparable high proof whiskey, uh, bonded whiskey may maybe like do Evan Williams uh, bonded or something. Uh, you can switch out your coffee liqueur for whatever you want and you can switch out your banana liqueur if you want to use Giffard or any other type of banana liqueur. Just remember that you'll have to dial up and dial down the specs based on how sweet either one of these. So if you're using a coffee liqueur that's a little sweeter, you're going to have to dial the specs in a little bit more from what I'm doing today. Um, and then the Tiki Bitters is also something that you're going to have to get. There is a link below to our Amazon store so you can buy these. Um, but you know, this is a very specific proprietary flavor that you're not going to be able to find or equate any other way unless you get it, taste it, break down the flavor profile and see if you can't match it with herbs and spices. That, that would be a lot harder than just ordering some tiki bitters on the internet. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you could ship these to Europe. So let's get into making the drink. First thing we're going to do is just a couple few dashes or by dashes, I mean drops of uh, tiki bitters. What was that? Eight? Maybe. I'll go with eight. You know what? I'll leave it to you to count. Seven to, seven to ten is what I'll say, depending on how much you want. Now, I fought most of myself really hard about this cocktail because the banana liqueur is, especially the Giffard, I mean, the, the Tempest Fugit that I'm using right now, the Giffard is a little bit sweeter. The Tempest Fugit that I'm using right now tastes like banana bread. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. So I was fighting with myself about whether I wanted half an ounce or, th or, or a quarter of an ounce. A uh, quarter of an ounce is going to feature your whiskey a little bit more. Half an ounce is going to be a bit sweeter, but it has a really, really, really nice finish. So I'm going with half an ounce of uh, banana liqueur. Uh, if you had do something that's pretty sweet, though, I would implore you to uh, knock it down to a quarter of an ounce. And then we're just going to do a tiny dash of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. You can use any coffee liqueur you want, but we're just going to do the tiniest dash just to get the just to get the coffee flavor in there. I kind of over poured my tiny dash, so uh, don't mind if I do. Ooh, that, that stuff is so good, man. And then we're using our old granddad uh, 100 proof bonded bourbon. We're going to be doing two ounces of our bonded bourbon. I thought I was going to kill the bottle, but evidently the bottle wants to continue. And that's it. We're going to use a big rock of ice. We're gonna get our ridiculously long spoon and put our raw guys in there and just give it a nice stirry pants until you chill it down. And you can stir it as much or as little as you want. You just wanna make sure you mix the ingredients, but honestly, it's sitting on a big rock of ice and it's gonna dilute as you go. So if you want it less diluted and you want it a little bit more, a little harsher on the front end, then you can just uh, kinda of stir it a little less than you normally would. Up to you. I'm going to give it a nice stir and mix. Make sure that everything is well combined. I like my cocktails being very cold as well, so. All right, I can smell that banana from here. It smells so good. 
All right, that's it. And then we're just gonna give it a nice lemon twist. And what's really the feature that is amazing about this cocktail, and what I like about it so much, is that the it's really how the sharpness of the lemon oil and the banana combine that make it so good. So we're just gonna give it a nice little spritzy poo up here. Get a little rub around. Somebody said the most, the funniest comment the other day. They said, did you just wipe the peel on the, did you just wi wave the peel around around the glass? Are you conjuring, what does he say? He said like, are you, are you conjuring magic spells, bro? I just thought that was really funny. Mary doesn't that think that's so funny. I, yeah, I was listening. I didn't see that comment. I, I mean, I'm also badly paraphrasing it too, but. Okay, let's taste this. Oh man, that is just like, the banana and the lemon. Mmm, it, it's like, it's got this amazing aftertaste. It's just like very sharp from the lemon oil. And then the banana just sort of smooths it out into this like a smooth and sweet finish. You got a little bit of the heat from that 100 proof bourbon. And then just the tiniest dash of coffee on the finish. It's like a, I, like a, if it wasn't already a, like a drink, I would call this like a breakfast old fashioned or something, you know, like. What do you mean if it wasn't already a drink? You just made it. No, no, the, the breakfast old fashioned, I believe is already a drink. Oh, it's already okay. named the breakfast old fashioned. I can't steal that name is what I was saying. Yes, this is now already a drink. It's called the Vel, uh, but this also tastes like what I assume of the velvet rut feels like. A little sharp, a little bitter, a little sweet. Like yesterday's coffee inside banana sweetness and some lemon tanginess. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's it, it tastes how I feel the how I think the velvet rut feels. Although this drink is more preferable and pleasurable than the actual velvet rut where you're sitting around town and so comfortable and your life is going nowhere. Like you're in, it, it, it like conjures the image of purgatory to me. It's kind of like LA. I always kind of joke like LA, like 15 years go by like one long day here in Los Angeles because it's just like not a lot of harsh weather to mark the time, you know? Which is I guess how, you know, kind of people mark time in other places. Well, there it is, the Velvet Rut. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly where you can get some awesome content. Uh, we have a new channel that you guys should be checking out called Barfly Free Pour, uh, where we are unveiling tastings and travel stuff and uh, experimental videos we wanna get into, all based around the spirits industry. We, the travel stuff is the most uh, is the, the stuff I'm most excited about. But we do tastings and all of the stuff that we were doing here, like all of the uh, like gear reviews and tests and things we'll be doing over there. So you should go check it out. Hit like and subscribe over there. Hit like and subscribe over here. And uh, check out our pay, uh, check out our, uh, our, uh, our apron sponsor, staggerlygoods.com. They make these awesome aprons that make me look so handsome and strapping. Staggerlygoods.com. And, and I said that twice, the staggerlygoods.com. You see how I snuck that in there? And then uh, we have a discount code, uh, barfly, SLG20, at checkout for 20% off your order. See you one another time.